How's it going, everybody out there on Facebook and YouTube? JDev has returned, and I brought that amazing, expensive backdrop with me to give you exactly what you want. Of course, that would be more of me giving my thoughts, my opinions, and my award-winning, and I really do mean award-winning, expert analysis on a certain topic subject. What I want to do with, with you guys tonight is get with you to give you my predictions on tomorrow's UFC on ESPN Fight Night main event, where we have Francis Ninganu versus the returning Cain Velasquez. Just going to give my thoughts on the fight and who I think is going to win. Some insight in the fighter. So Francis Ninganu was a former title contender until he lost to Steve Miocic. And then he lost a really, really bad snooze fest, Derek Lewis. And then he recently beat Curtis Bayless, who had been on a roll. And then Cain Velasquez, who hasn't fought since July of 2016 at UFC 200 against Travis Brown, Ronda Rousey's husband. He's a beast, a former UFC heavyweight champion of the world, decorated one of the best heavyweights of all all time, in my opinion. If you have a top three, Cain Velasquez might be the number one person, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, I think Cain Velasquez does make this division better, that's for sure, because some of the guys in this division are weak, in, in the top ten at least. I think this will definitely improve the division. But my thoughts on the fight. So, Francis Ngannou, if he connects with something to Cain Velasquez early in the fight, Kane is going night night. And I say that because I've seen Kane Velasquez get hit with something not super powerful by Junior, Junior Dos Santos, and it knocked Dos Santos out. Or I'm sorry, it knocked Kane Velasquez out. So if that happens, Kane is going night night. With that said, if Kane takes down Nganu, it might be a five round fight, and Kane's going to win because of all the takedowns. I don't know if he can make him submit or ground upon him or he taps out or gets KO'd, but. My money is on Cain Velasquez. And I'm going to tell you why, because Cain is a beast. He's certainly one of the greatest heavyweights of all time. And I think Ngannou's good, but once you look past, his skill set isn't very good. Unless he's proved his wrestling. You know, if he can not get taken down, it might be a different thing. But if he connects with one of his haymakers, it might be over for Cain. But my prediction is Cain Velasquez will win this fight. And that's that's the expert analysis. Now, of course, I, I give you guys my expert analysis on Lax. Last week in UFC 234 pay-per-view where I said that Anderson Silva would beat Israel Asande. And I I, I kind of figured I would be wrong on that, but I wasn't ready to give, you know, I wasn't ready to stick a fork in Anderson Silva yet. And look what happened. Anderson Silva, while he lost, he did look good. He hung in there with the young up-and-comer. Well, actually, Asande is not that young. He's 29. Uh, so I think my prediction wasn't that far off. I mean, I, I wanted to not predict Anderson Silva to lose. That's that's kind of where I came from that. I kind of figured he would lose, but I wasn't ready to stick a fork at him saying he's washed up. But for his age, he looked pretty good. So, tomorrow, ESPN, fight night. You don't have to get the app. You don't have to get pay-per-view. It's on ESPN tomorrow. I think it starts at 8 o'clock Central Time. Central Time, Kane Velasquez, Francis Ngannou. Kane is going to win. The rest of the card, I'll let you guys decipher and figure out, but Kane is going to win tomorrow. And I think it would set up a good fight between Kane and Steve Miocic. To f and whoever wins that fight can fight Daniel Cormier, which I don't think Kane and Cormier will ever fight. Or they can fight John Jones when John Jones beats DC for his heavyweight title. So that's my opinion. That's my expert analysis. And I hope you guys share what you think. You know, write a comment. And of course, we can talk about UFC 235, where we have John Jones versus Anthony Smith, Tyron Woodley versus. Uh, Uriah Osman, and of course we have Robbie Lawler versus uh, Ben Askren. So that's what's coming up, but let's let's keep it to the fight night discussion. But if you want to talk UFC 235, we certainly can. And yeah, I'm picking Kane to win because I just think Kane is too skilled and has way too much cardio for Francis Ngannou. So there you have it. Enjoy the video, and let me know what your thoughts are. Peace.